Good morning, it's Monday, live with Dr. JJ from the Anamkara Prayer Corner, a reading from 1 Samuel. Now the Lord came and stood there, and they're calling as before, Samuel, Samuel. And Samuel said, speak for your servant is listening. Then the Lord said to Samuel, see, I'm about to do something in Israel that will make both ears of ever anyone who hears of it tingle. I'm about to do something. Well, I would say right now and here, we're ready for something. Imagine a world beyond gimmicks with no gotchas, a world that restores the dash between noblesse and oblige. A world where things are fair, where you are well, where those who you love are well, where swords have become art schools and weapons have become warming centers for the elderly. And imagine a world of enchantment where you look inside, look outside at a child playing on a safe street, where good public transportation pulls up to take you to a good job, where economic obsession is gone and decent salaries replace it. Imagine a world where health is insured and life is insured and you have decent choices at the end to do what is right for you and your family. Imagine hospitals as good as homes and hospices as good as hospitals. Imagine good things and then believe they are coming. God has plans already executed in Jesus to do things the way to tingle, to open both of our eyes and look around, look under the hassock and look back to the scripture Look forward in hope. Open both of our ears. And soon they will tingle. In our lives, do we feel summoned by God to a specific vocation or course of action? Oh, yes. God, we are frequently blinded by the distractions of the world. Clear our inner vision that we might see more clearly. Amen.